Mr. Anderson, you wanted to see me? Uh, yeah, have a seat. First of all, I want to say that you're doing an outstanding job. Yeah, thank you. I love my job. I love working here. Yeah, we love having you here. Unfortunately, we have to let you go. I'm sorry. Why? Why? You just said you love to have me work here. Yeah, the company's making some cutbacks, and you lied on your application. Uh, I'm sorry. What? You said you never committed any crimes, when in actuality you sold cocaine to adolescents and they locked you off for it. Okay, I, I understand. Uh, Alright, well, uh, th thank you for the opportunity to work here. Thank you for letting me show what I can do. Uh, I, I respect your decision. I understand the choice you had to make. Uh, thanks for understanding. Uh, I wish you the best in another job or wherever you find, but unfortunately that's what we have to do. I understand. Thank you. Well, I got half a Victor 150. That's cool. When you coming through. I don't know what works for y'all. I mean, he's not even here right now, so. Mm-hmm. Bet. Speak to you for a second. Yeah, what's up? What's going on? What was it? What's all this? Yeah, so. So I come home and I find an eviction notice on the door, and then here you are doing this again. I mean, you're worthless, man. Worthless? I'm worthless. I'm out here actually trying to work and think about this logically, and here you are selling drugs out the house like there won't be any consequences. <laughs> what does that say about you? Then I'm the one know how to, that knows how to get that real money. I don't know why I decided to stay with you in the first place. You can't handle a woman like me. <laughs> Real money. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Real money. <laughs> Mr. Jones? Yes? You are three months behind on your rent. And I just overheard the conversation you had with your lady here. You have one month to leave the premises. <laughs> I would hate to be you. <laughs> <laughs> me? What are you talking about? We're in this together. You must be out your mind. All the money I have, I don't know why I waste more money or time on you. We're done. <laughs> that's, that's the best news I've heard you say all day. <laughs> Heavenly Father, I understand the wickedness, of, the wickedness of the world is trying to damage and destroy my spirit. Father, I lost my job by being fa falsely accused of a crime that I didn't commit. I made a mistake with my previous relationship that I was in with Lisa, and I was in need of a job. She knew the manager at the previous employ my previous place of employment. Being sneaky, she gave a man named Jermaine, who was sentenced some time for selling drugs to adolescents, the application for my job. The only problem is he used my name on the application. The information he filled out on the application cost me my job. And I come to you for it. I come to you in prayer, Father, because I need your help. I'm at a crossroads, and I don't know where to turn and which way to go. I know that your spirit lives in me if I just believe. Though I have faced different obstacles, some good and some bad, I know that through it all you're with me and I will never and you'll never forsake me. I need your help, O oh Lord. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen and amen. Sometimes don't gotta look for right here inside of me. Inside of me, right there, speak through me. Christ in me, every word I speak. Christ in me, spirit lives in me. Christ in me, blessings I shall see.
me up when I'm at my worst When darkness seems to shadow me He shines his light so I can see Direct my path, lead the way Put him first every day Honored I get to learn his ways I'm thankful for my life he saved Brought me through some crucial times Crazy paths within my life Times where I could've been dead and gone Relied on my faith and kept me strong Span my peace, my belief Strengthen me, his blood in me Grateful for all he's done for me That's why I give him all of me Christ in me He's performed all times. He's forgiven me. I've been a believer since I was about eight years old. Really? Yeah. So I'm a new uh, follower, believer in Christ. Well, that's great. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Can you share any information with me to help me grow in my faith? Yeah, absolutely. 